So in the talk we just heard, um, open intelligence saves the day. I like that. And uh, when I first heard statements like that, I thought automatically that that was a statement that applied to something, you know, very grand, like the state of the world or, f or you know, all of the problems in the world. But I really saw that the most important place for that statement to be to be true really needs to be our own experience. So open intelligence saves the day. And what that means is very, very basically in the beginning, um, when you're introduced to open intelligence, right from the start. So I know there's, there's, a, there's a few new people here today. So as you heard, the way to identify open intelligence in your, in your own experience is just to stop thinking or stop describing. You can do that right now. When you do that, what's looking through your eyes, what's listening to me speak becomes just more obvious. There's an openness and alertness when you stop thinking that isn't necessarily obvious when, you're th when, when you are thinking or describing. And so that's great news because you've already got what we're talking about in this training. And so the practice, the simple practice of the balance view training is simply to emphasize open intelligence whenever you remember, just to recognize it. And the way you do that, and the actual, the actual specific instruction, is short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times, become continuous. So the conventional approach to life has been to try to rearrange our thoughts, emotions, sensations, and other experiences into a set of thoughts, emotions, other experiences that we're happy with. And so that's the ongoing project of our lives. In the Balance View training, we call thoughts, emotions, sensations, and other experiences, people, places, and things, data. Makes it very simple, and also it's not so annoying when, when I'm speaking about it. <laughs> it's much easier to say data than people, places, sensations, thoughts, you know, like blah, blah, blah. that's really boring. So it's very, it's very simple. Anything you experience, anything as a human being, we call data. And that makes it wonderfully simple. So, in your experience, you have, you have one choice. You can either recognize open intelligence or not. And that, right from the beginning, that's the simplicity of this practice. And it doesn't matter how complicated you think your life was, and I guarantee you that nobody had a life as complicated as me when I came to this training. I had like billions of thoughts that needed sorting out and everything was a problem. Everything needed to be look in, looked into. Everything needed to be changed in order for me to, me to feel okay. And I've been trying to do that for like my entire adult life. Trying to change everything about myself in order to feel okay and failing miserably at it. Just, I mean, I can't really remember what it was like, but it, even talking about it makes me feel a bit queasy, <laughs> uneasy, you know. And so, so that's very simple. So in each moment, like for example, right now, if this is your first <coughs> open meeting, you can test this practice. Some of you might be wishing you hadn't come here. I mean, sitting in plastic chairs in 37 degrees heat isn't, isn't the most pleasant thing you could be doing right now. I mean, I would much rather be floating in the sea myself, but uh, I'm here, S sweating. And, um, and you see, now for me, that experience, sitting in front of people, um, not having anything prepared to say, sweating, feeling really hot, really uncomfortable, um, I, conventionally, I would describe this situation as an absolute nightmare. But um, my, my experience now, after just simply relying on, on, the, on the simple support and the practice of short moments, is that everything is totally wonderful and ap an absolute joy. And that especially includes the things I don't like about myself. So, in the last four or five days, I've been more angry, more frustrated, more aggressive, more bored than I've ever been in my entire life, continuously. Now, I can rephrase that statement for you. I've never been more in love and more at peace in my entire life. So that doesn't make sense. And this is the great power of this training, is that we, like we had in the talk, we've been fed a line of bullshit, total bullshit. 
we've been told and trained since birth that in order to be okay we need to fix ourselves and the whole of human society reflects that every country every religion every science it all it all screams you are imperfect the world is imperfect we need to be sorted out and um and that that's the that's the ongoing motivation for everyone individual and collective and so for our entire lives this has been the focus relentless negativity relentless criticism blame and judgment now you can see this in yourself one of the interesting things about being involved in this training is that we start to look and focus on the on the gratitude and value we see in ourselves and in other people and when you first come to this training, I remember there's a question in one of the trainings that says, what are your strengths, gifts and talents? And I just sat there when, when that was asked and it was just like, I have, I have no strengths, gifts and talents. I, I, I left it blank. What, what, what are your weaknesses, um, fears? Or, there was a question like that as well. I, ha I couldn't stop writing. There was, I could have written for eternity about the things that were wrong with myself. And again, this is, this is just indicative evidence of the way I've been trained to only focus on what doesn't work. Because we are very powerful, we are precious and we are beautiful. And nobody said that to us. I mean, you might have heard it a few times, probably from your mother when you, when you were a baby. My mum said, to, when I, you know, that like, used to make me very uncomfortable in, when my friends came when I was a teenager and, and you know I was just really surly and angry uh, and uh, she just looked at me and she said when you were a baby I used to kiss you all day long like that and you loved it and I was just like Ugh. but you see that preciousness that 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 unconditional love that babies just beam out all over the place where they're just absorbing everything that's so precious and that is our true nature and uh, basically, if you heap decades of bullshit on top of that preciousness, it's, it's going to be, it's going to disappear. And it's going to be unpleasant, it's going to be smelly, and you're not going to be able to do much about it. So in, in the Balance View training, th that instruction that we, we talked about um, right at the beginning, the short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until it becomes continuous, is a way of identifying that preciousness at right there, right now. Then it, then it immediately slips away. So the importance of the, sec the second part of the instruction, I would say, is the most important instruction, repeated many times. Because there are, there are many people here who probably have or are in, in, engaged in practices that are about maintaining a state of, say, no thought, or bliss, or openness. Now that's impossible, because the nature of reality, the nature of data, even if it's beautiful data, like, like oneness, or bliss, it's fleeting. It will come and it will go. It will come and it will go. And just look at your experience right now. What's going on? So we can, we can stop thinking, all of us right now, just stop describing, identify open intelligence from, from that relaxed potency. Just see what's going on in your experience. Just how vibrant that experience is. I mean, there's so much going on. It's, it's almost impossible to take it all in. So my experience would be, okay, there's, there's sweatiness. I can hear the fan, I can hear the tapping over there. The, the thoughts, memories, just, just relentless, appearing and resolving. And so what we've learned is that we need, like I said at the beginning, we, we need to somehow stop this flow and make it into a certain set of, of descriptive frameworks like happiness, openness, love, benefit whatever it is but what 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 you'll find is if you if you if if you just allow the recognition of open intelligence to occur either automatically or, or forcefully by stopping thinking in the beginning what you'll start to recognize is something really miraculous that your the data your experience is is your trainer that is your teacher so to speak because what it does it presents you with the choice so that simple choice the uncomplicated choice I mentioned earlier on to recognize open intelligence or not, what is it that's, that's, that's giving you the opportunity to make that choice? What is it that's empowering you to make that choice? It's you, it's your life. So nothing needs to change. Woohoo! 
And it doesn't mean that you, you don't want things to change. So this is another key, a key point. I want everything to change about my life. But guess what? I don't have a choice. And, and it, it's pretty clear by now that nothing is going to change. I'm a miserable, fat Englishman, and that's going to be my reality for the rest of my life. But when you, when you practice short moments, what you start to recognize is the inseparability of that precious perfection from everything that's occurring in your life. So in the beginning, the data of your life reminds you to recognize open intelligence. But just by taking those short moments, what you'll start to experience, experience, not understand, experience, is that everything about you is inseparable from the basis of that experience. So everything is a unified expanse. Everything is a unified expanse. And, and from the very first moment you're introduced to open intelligence, that's it. So the point is that in the Balance View training, it's up to you. We empower you to test what's on offer here. And you can do that immediately. So we heard earlier about the four mainstays. That's a, that's a simple support structure, again, that's offered to you to test in your experience. So the first mainstay is the practice of short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until it becomes continuous. You can do that wherever you are. It doesn't matter how you feel. You don't have to get rid of depression, say, in order to recognize open intelligence. You either recognize open intelligence or not when depression is there. And then you repeat, repeat that recognition whenever you remember. We have trainings. So after, after the open meeting um, at the back there, we can load your MP3 player or a USB stick up with hundreds of hours of talks. So just listening to talks, reading the, the books, it's all free, will elicit the experience of what's being described in, in, by me. It's guaranteed. So you don't have to believe this, you just test it and then see what happens. Then you've got a trainer. So the trainers are there just to support you in this simple recognition. And then the community. And um, open intelligence saves the day, the statement I, I said right at the beginning. Balanced View is a grassroots organisation that empowers individuals, you, to recognise your innate perfection. And it's, so it's not rocket science. The more people that do that, the, the more humanity just shifts in a very powerful way. Because instead of emphasising imperfection, you emphasise you emphasize perfection in your own experience. You become an example of perfection and that, and that, that, that alone attracts other people. So here at the centre in Goa, and we have centres all over the world now, when people get together and they're all taking responsibility for their own data streams, so that means they take, they make the choice to recognise open intelligence rather than indulging on their data. So like I said, I'm angry, frustrated, aggressive, bored, miserable all of the time. Now I could be a very, very unpleasant person to be around, but I, I empower myself amidst this negativity to recognize that that is my power. It's inseparable from, from precious, wide open, open-hearted love, open intelligence. And in that recognition, I am free to be of powerful benefit and just, uh, just a nice person. And when you get lots of people doing that together, you, you get amazing results. So again, this is something you don't need to believe. You can test it in your own experience. Even if you're not with people who are relying on open intelligence, just by you taking responsibility to recognize open intelligence whenever you remember, that will have a profound effect on the people around you. Don't believe me, just test it. And so all of the problems in the world will be solved by you relying on open intelligence. Oh my God, what did he just say? That's outrageous. So again, you don't have to believe me, just test it in your experience.